Antonov bomber planes, tanks, scorched earth campaigns from the Islamic Arab North all describe the dire situation of southern Kordofan of Sudan. The Nuba Mountains in south Kordofan of Sudan is an island of Christianity and the Sea of Islam. They've been a very unique, distinct people. They're black, mostly animistic, quite a lot of Christians amongst them, but the Arabic speaking in a country that is overwhelmingly Islamic, and yet here are these Christians who have been suffering for their faith. During the 2011, the war has broke again. So at that time it was a really terrible time. They have aircraft, they have uh, machine guns, but for us, we are just using the name of Jesus. Frontline Fellowship's been involved in Nuba Mountain since 1996. We have flown tons of Bibles, school books, and medicines, agricultural tools. We have been training Bible schools, providing school textbooks, evangelistic tools, including uh, film equipment for film evangelism for the people in Nuba Mountains. As we walked from one side of the Nuba Mountains to the other, we saw huge amounts of destruction, scorched earth, destroying everything necessary to sustain life. A lot of bombings, aerial bombardments, terrorism, scorched earth, atrocities, tortures. A million Nubans were in the concentration camps in the late 1990s, what they call peace camps, Dar al Islams, where they were forcibly being Islamized. Over the last three years, the Lord has used us as a conduit to help take 210,000 Bibles into Africa, with 125,000 of those going into the Nuba Mountains of Sudan. Despite the aggressive adversity the people of Sudan are facing, there is hope as people are turning to God. His word is rapidly spreading and the gospel is taking root in the hearts of thousands of people. By the grace of God, we took in 120,000 Bibles, notebooks, and textbooks. Here today in the Nuba Mountains of Sudan, God has provided in an incredible way, and we've got 40,000 Bibles here in English, a couple thousand Bibles in Arabic, uh, four of Dr. Hammond's titles. Uh, we've also got biblical education by extension courses and uh, Lord willing uh, we'll be able over the next 10 days to distribute these uh, to the 130 other schools. One of the things that we're distributing are the Story of Jesus picture booklets. These will be given to students who are learning to read or can't even read. You might wonder why in notebooks. These schools, they hardly even have chalkboards and chalk, let alone notepads. So we'll be giving these to the students along with their Bibles and Story of Jesus picture booklets. Our team was able to deliver 40,000 Bibles into Islamic Sudan, one of the most remote and difficult to reach areas. Because during the war time, most of the Bibles have born, burned with the fire. Because of uh, the Khartoum government, who is targeting the civilians, burning the churches, killing us randomly, I urge the international community at least to uh, see our case so that we call our brothers in USA, Canada, everywhere to have a pressure on the Khartoum government, also to pray for God, let God really hear our uh, voice, let God help us so that we appear also as a human beings in the world. Mm -hmm. I really want to encourage our brothers in South Africa, in America, to stand firm in Jesus Christ and to continue to pray for us as we pray for them. The Nuba people, although they have been forced to learn Arabic, they are wanting to make English the official language as an act of resistance against the Islamic government of Islam. The whole students have received their Bibles, even Muslim children, they have their Bibles. And so we find even the Arabic 
tribes and Muslim schools welcoming our teams to deliver Bibles in English because they're so desperate for English books and they want to teach their children English. So we believe that the word of God is not making a child and each family in that side. Bible is also help because most of the notes comes from uh, the Bibles. That is why it is very useful to us. And they recognize the Bible is the greatest textbook. So we are so excited really to have Bibles here in school, here, especially in local communities. And I believe that the Word of God is, is uh, strong, it can change the, the heart and transform the situation of the world to the ultimate situation. People from the Islam to accept Jesus Christ, and people from the wash, worshiping the witchcraft so that they may not know Jesus Christ. Either. We are in need for a certain cause for trauma healing because of what? We need people to be trained as an evangelist and also pastors. If there is any ways for evangelism like Jesus film and even audio Bibles, this will be the way that can also help us to evangelize effectively. And they need more Bibles and therefore the other materials to help them in their study also. Bringing the Bibles into the Nuba Mountains was a challenge, but so was getting our team there. We all had to raise money to get air tickets, travel across many borders. We had to obtain visas from a government that doesn't necessarily give out visas very easily. We needed special military permission just to operate within the Nuba Mountains. Everywhere that we went, we needed permission from the different commissioners and hierarchical structures just so that we could move around and distribute Bibles. Day, you're just totally exhausted. All of us face difficulties on personal levels as well. There are spiritual battles to fight every single day. There is crippling heat. The sun descends upon you like a thousand burning daggers day in and day out. You feel sick. You often have to eat food that you're not familiar with. You have to interact with people from different cultures, which isn't always easy. Communication can often be difficult. One has to fight with animals making noise at night. I slept with a rooster on top of my tent. Mosquitoes and rats, all kinds of difficulties challenging you just to live on a daily basis. Getting Bibles into the Nuba Mountains of Sudan is daunting at best. To get this number of Bibles into an officially Islamic country certainly took a miracle. But this miracle was not without hard work. In fact, it took Ben nearly a year of preparation, many late nights and early mornings to communicate with the right people, to speak to people internationally, to ensure that the Bibles were printed correctly, paid for, crossed several borders and got through clearing and customs, which is a nightmare in and of itself. Uh, it's really a long, drawn-out process, uh, taking anywhere from 12 to 15 months. After that, it took NGOs and ministries on the ground to come together to transport and distribute all of these different Bibles to areas where there are no roads and many would rightly deem unsafe. But the body of Christ pulled together. God's church prevailed and the mighty hand of the Lord was upon this entire project. Thank you for the organization who has afforded to distribute the Bibles to the Nuba Mountain so that they have to know the life and the ministry of Jesus. Because that is a great achievement. If they confess and they come to the Christ, that is the win that we have win the people from the world to the Christ. But we thank them so much for what they have offered with the people of the Nuba Mountains. And we pray that God will implement everything. We, we don't have uh, power to do that, but uh, in God, uh, everything is possible.
In spite of devastation and disaster in the Nuba Mountains, Christ's church is prevailing, his kingdom is advancing, and his people are being encouraged in his word. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you, brother. Can we do? We can be informed, we can be interceding, we can be involved. All of us can do something. We can pray, we can print out and put up the Pray for the Nuba Mountains posters off the Frontline Mission SA.org website. Get hold of the books, Faith and Defiance Sedan, make them available, show this film in your youth group, school, church, projects, helping to sponsor Bibles for the Nuba Mountains or textbooks for the teachers and uh, textbooks and Bibles for the schools. So we can all do something. Let's see what God wants us to do, but let's pray, let's get involved, let's speak up for the Nuba, speak up for those who cannot speak up for themselves. We would appreciate your prayers uh, for, for just uh, favor with government officials we may meet, uh, favor in the, in the schools, uh, with the teachers, and then uh, just, just favor uh, as far as our vehicles, you know, transportation-wise. Also pray for peace in Sudan because we have seen people suffering a lot.